my YouTube channel. My name is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, LTK, and TikTok. And today I'm here with a highly requested video. So I've had a lot of you ask me to share my Lululemon collection and while I've thought about it, that like scares me. Just thinking about pulling everything out, trying everything on and sharing it is like literally a very daunting task. So what I've decided to do is break it up into like different groups. So Today we're going to be talking about my scuba collection, which is still, like, pretty big. Um, but I will be doing a couple more of these videos throughout Vlogmas, so if there's any specific, like, type of product from Lululemon that you want to see from my collection, let me know down below. I'm trying to keep, basically keep it from being, like, a three-hour video because I have so much Lululemon. Like, majority of my closet is Lululemon. It's actually kind of sad. But, um... Anyway, so if you're excited for this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I do a lot of Lululemon content, and like I said, I will slowly start working my way through my collection. Let me know what you want to see next, and let's get into the scubas. All right, so we're going to start with my largest selection, my, my most, like, how do I even phrase this? the type of scuba that I have the most of. And I have them sitting on the floor here, and we've got a lot, okay? So, um, I tried on all these scubas for you. I gotta get them out of the way, they're heavy. Um, I'm going to like put the try on here so you guys can see them on me. And then what I'm gonna do is I have all three types of scubas. Um, we're not getting into the fleece or anything today, but I have all three of the original scubas I'm going to talk about them, and I'm going to tell you what I think about each style, and I'm going to show you all the colors that I have. So, these are all of my oversized scubas. We're going to start with the OG, which is the half zip, which, like I said, I have the most of. So, I went through and checked all my colors, so I think, I'm, I, think I know what I've got. There are a few that still have tags on them, and it was actually interesting because as I was prepping this video, I was like, okay, either I don't wear them, or I kind of got them like, um, like for example, you'll see there's some lighter colors that I got in the spring and summer that I just haven't worn yet. So anyway, we'll get into that. Um, I was hoping by doing this video, I'd be like, oh, definitely sell that one, definitely sell that one. And then when I tried them all on, I was like, I love, I love them all. <sighs> I have a problem. Okay. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have... I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this, so we'll see later, but I have all the try-ons, so I might just, like, have those running in the corner as I talk about them, but I do think that I'm going to quickly, like, run through them so you can see them, like, in person, like, not on my body. I don't know. Anyway, this is the first one. This is in Red Merlot. Also, I wear all of these in a medium large. Every single one's a medium large. This one is in Date Brown. This one is Copper Brown. This one is gray sage. Can you notice like how many fall colors I have? This one is, oh gosh, is it deep sea? Night sea, night sea, my only blue. This one is black, probably my second most worn. This one is light gray, my most worn. These two are the ones that are newer to me from the um, half zip. This is delicate mint. It like looks washed out on camera, but it is really pretty. And lastly, strawberry milkshake. So this one also has a tag because I got that one at the end of the summer or spring. I don't know. So let's talk. Now I'll kind of put up the try on so you can see them on my body. Like I said, I wear all of these in a medium large. Every single one is a medium large. I love these. So, like I said, this was my first scuba, um, the oversized half zip uh, type. And I remember I specifically bought this light gray one. This was my first scuba ever. I got it probably November 2020. I remember it was like late 2020. I think it was November. Anyway, I got the light gray and then shortly after I got the black, which those have still proven to be like some of my most worn. And I really love them. Now, clearly, this is the one that I have the most of. I have, I think I counted nine, 
Is that right? I think there was nine. Let me know down below. That may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I have nine um, half zips. And like I said, this was the one that I loved the most. I have sold or returned some that I just wasn't wearing, um, but these ones I am keeping. Now, the half zip is what it says. It is a half zip hoodie where it like goes all the way down to where the kangaroo pocket starts. The pocket goes all the way through. It has the big hood. It's obviously somewhat cropped and it's fleece on the inside as they all are. Now, one of the biggest complaints about the half zip or the scubas, I guess, in general the, with the hoods is that the hood is very heavy. In my opinion, I think that is still true for the half zip. I'll talk about the full zip later, but I do think that is true for the half zip. I think the hood can be kind of heavy. I find that when I'm wearing it, I'll go, like be adjusting like throughout the day and you know, it's fine, but it can get a little bit annoying. That being said, sorry, I have a piece of hair. That being said, that did not stop me from buying nine. Okay. And the only two with tags are these two, which are the lighter colors that I recently got and just haven't worn because of the season. So I love the half zips. Um, like I said, I really like the black and the gray. I wear those the most. I'll wear them to the gym. Obviously I wear all of these casually, but for whatever reason, I like to wear the black and the gray to the gym. Um, and I think this makes a really great gift. There's a reason that they're so popular and I mean, clearly I like them. So I really love the half zips despite maybe the flaw of the hood. Um, I think they're really great. I love my color selection. I have a lot of fall and winter colors, which is appropriate because I usually wear these from, I would say September through April. Okay, I'm still getting over a little bit of cold, so I just had like a coughing fit, sorry. Um, anyway, I wear these from September through April. I don't really wear them obviously in the summer months, and usually in September I'm kind of pushing it, but like I'm really excited to wear them. So I do get a lot of use out of these, and I do wear them not year round, but like close to it. So love the half zips, highly recommend. There's a reason it's an OG, there's a reason I have so many. It's, it's a good one. And like I said, I don't see myself getting rid of any of these. Probably, obviously, the two new ones I haven't worn. But my least worn of this group is the, um, what is it called? Deep, not deep, baby. What do I call it? I keep forgetting this color. Night C. Um, this is probably my least worn. And I have this theory when I went to high school, well, even in under, or undergrad, um, elementary school through high school our school colors were blue so I feel like I just don't wear blue anymore because I wore it for 12 years of my life and then my college color and my grad school color was red so I don't really wear blue and red a lot because I wore them so much for my education but anyway that's probably why this is my least worn but love them all and let's get into the next type Okay, the next type that we're going to talk about is the one that I have the least of. Um, it's what I'm wearing right now. This is the funnel neck. So this one is white opal. And then I have rover, which, oh my god, I love this color. I wish I had bought more in this color when it came out. And then I have lavender dew. So these are the three funnel necks that I have. Um, I really like the funnel neck but it's never been my favorite so in the beginning when I first started getting scubas I was obsessed like I said with the half zip that was the first one and then I think they came out with the funnel neck did they come out with the full zip or the funnel neck next I can't remember but I don't I don't know anyway so I had a lot of the half zips and then I started getting like I wanted to try the funnel nut because the big thing was there's no hood right and the cool thing is like it's got the little logo here because there's no hood but honestly other than that it's like the same as the half zip the zipper goes all the way down to the kangaroo pocket um, it's fleece it's all the same except there's no hood and the label or the logo is right there now I like this I again have nothing bad to say I just don't wear it as much and I feel like 
if I'm gonna wear scuba, I I just feel like for whatever reason these ones aren't as warm, which is not true because they're just as warm. But for me mentally, not having the hood, I feel like it's less versatile. With the hood, I can put it up if if it's raining or whatever. I also feel like with the hood, I can wear my hair up because usually when I wear my hair down with the scubas, I feel like my my hair kind of gets like lost in the hood. So with the funnel neck, I like it's better to wear your hair down, whereas with the scuba um, full zips and half zips, I feel like I usually like to have my hair off of my neck so that it's not getting in the hood, which is really funny because I wear my hair down like 90% of the time. I'm sorry, up 90% of the time. So the, I don't know, I just feel like I grab that one more when my hair's up. I know that's like really weird and has, I don't know, that probably doesn't even matter, but the funnel neck I like to wear when my hair is down and the ones with the hood I wear when my hair is up and my hair is almost always up. So I just grab it more. Um, I feel like too I don't go to the movies as much anymore but when I would go to the movies I'd pull it up and like be able to like sit there and be cozy. I don't know I just like the function of the hood. So for whatever reason I haven't bought as many though I have worn all three of these. I love all three. Um, I also feel like this is more suitable for like a summer night like I can wear both of these colors too are like good in the summer if you're going somewhere colder or whatever this is just one of my favorite colors so I have um, in each of the styles I have Rover, Grey Sage, and Cara Brown which are so very similar but they are different colors so I do like the funnel neck it's never been my favorite of the three styles. I would say this is number three on my list, but I still like it. I still wear it, and I recommend this one if you don't like the hood, if the hood bothers you, if you wear your hair down a lot. I feel like it's easier because your hair doesn't get caught in the hood like it does with the other ones. So I like the funnel neck, but it's not my favorite. Okay, so now let's talk about the last style, which is the full zip. And if you've been watching any of my recent videos, you know this is like my current obsession. I have had a new full zip in almost every haul, honestly. And I have one here that I haven't showed in a haul yet, so this is coming soon, so you get a little sneak peek. So the first one is Green Jasper. This is my newest one. This one I have not shown yet, and I'm really excited. I really love this color. So... I had to get that one. Then I have dark red, and I know I was just saying I don't wear a lot of red, but during the holidays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Memorial Day, 4th of July, it's really nice to have a red. So I really love the dark red. This one, I actually still have the tag on. This one is Cassis. Cassis or Cassis, I always forget. But this one definitely pulls more purple than like the red Merlot. The red Merlot is a little bit redder, and this one's a little bit more purple. Next, this is also a newer one to me. This is the Sonic Pink one. I just hauled this recently. Love this one. This one is really fun. I think that the pink looks so cute with like denim. I love that. This is Cara Brown, which I was just talking about. Again, another recent purchase. Okay, next I have White Opal. And I think it's interesting because I actually haven't worn the full zip yet. And I think the reason I haven't worn the full zip, well, one, this one when it went on sale I like bought it right away because it was a neutral color but at the time I wasn't super into the full zips I've bounced back and forth like I said at first the half zips were my obsession now the full zips are but and in between I just wore them all but um anyway I bought this when it went when it went on the website but I really haven't worn it yet and I always just wore this one so I do have this one in white opal too I know this is actually well, no, this and lastly is the light gray. I have the light gray in the full zip and the half zip, and then I have the white opal in the full zip and the funnel. And I think those are my only duplicates. Like I said, Rover, Care Brown, and Gray Sage are very similar. Cassis and um, Red Merlot are very similar. And I think that's pretty much it. The rest of them are pretty like different I only have the one black oh no that's not true I'm pretty sure I have a black full zip somewhere did I mention black did I say black you guys I'm pretty sure I have a black no I know I have a black full zip and now I'm wondering where it went okay I was gonna say I have 19 scubas 
because I have nine half zips, three funnels, and then I thought it was seven full zips, but I just realized I have eight full zips. I have a black somewhere, and I don't know where it went, but I definitely have a black. So, I have two blacks and two white opals and two grays, which are neutrals, which I wear all the time. Now it's like driving me nuts because I don't know where that other one is. I checked like my closet, my laundry. Okay, whatever. I will find it. But I have 20. Now we know that's a good round solid number. I have 20 oversized scubas. So that's the last type. Um, let's talk about it a little bit more. So again, this one I feel like obviously is similar to the oversized half zip except it's got just funny because obviously they took the oversized half zip and with the funnel neck they took off the hood and with the full zip they made it a full zip but otherwise they're all like based around the oversized half zip I like this one I probably should have worn one of these but I feel like I've been wearing these in like all my videos so I kind of had to like lay off um and you can obviously see it in the try on but I feel like I can pull this down to a perfect spot where then I can kind of like drape it over my shoulders and it distributes the weight of the hood so well so that it doesn't feel heavy like the half zips. I feel like with the half zips, maybe I'm just not pulling the zipper down far enough, but I feel like the hood is like pulling back too much. Whereas with the full zips, I can really like spread it out a little and it's just not as heavy. So anyway, that's why I love the full zip. I also just love the versatility. For a while there, I really loved the half zip because I would just wear a bra with it and then I wouldn't have to worry about like unzipping or wearing a shirt under or whatever. Now, if I want to just wear a bra, I just wear it with the full zip. If I want to wear a tank, a crop top, like I just feel like the full zip I can do so much more with. So, I really love the full zip. I, I really can't give you like a concrete rhyme or reason as to why I prefer one over the other because they're all good and they're all it really just depends on my mood like truly I love the oversized um, half zip for a long time and now I'm just into the full zip so I don't think you can go wrong with any I love picking them up on sale whenever they go on sale in a color that I like I will grab kind of regardless of the style because clearly I love all the styles so if you see one on sale especially during like I know we just had Black Friday um, but Boxing Day is coming up the day after Christmas, and I just think these are such good investment pieces. Yes, they're just like hoodies, zip ups, but they're so cozy. They're like gonna last you a long time. I mean, I've had a couple of these for two years. I wear them all the time, and they honestly look good as new. I would say like after a while, the fleece starts to wear down slightly. Like I noticed that when I put on a new one, but I mean, that's gonna happen with anything, and it's not like it gets... Where's my, oh, the other one's over there. It's not like it gets like gross. It just, it just feels slightly different than the new one. So I think these are really great. Clearly I have 20. I can't believe I misplaced that one, but I do have 20 and I love them so much. I think, I think everyone should have one. If you can get like a neutral one, I think they're really great staple pieces. Like I said, I love the black, the gray or the white, or like, I know they don't have white opal right now, but they had natural ivory for a bit. So if you can get a neutral color, I highly recommend. I love these. I tried to give a little bit of pros and cons on the styles, but like I said, you can't really go wrong. And my like my uh, pick like changes kind of daily. So I think they're all great. All right, so that is it for my scuba collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below, first of all, what your favorite style is. I would love to know. Also, if there was a color in here that you really liked, I would love to know that as well. And lastly, let me know what you want to see next as part of my Lululemon collection. I was thinking of doing like my Align leggings, something kind of fun like that. But I don't know. Let me know down below what you want to see next. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you.